Hey, welcome back to Good Moves with Well and Good. My name is Chloe from Go Chloe Pilates and I'm so excited to give you the ultimate core workout today. You ready? Let's do it. We're gonna start on our back. So come on down, lay down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat here. Now we're gonna set up our bodies and start to work through our oblique muscles. So the sides of our abdominals, the sides of our waist. So you wanna start in a neutral spine position. So that means we just wanna honor the natural curve we have in our low back. So a little bit of space between the low back and the mat. We wanna draw the rib cage down like a heavy book is resting on the rib cage, pressing down. And then you're gonna take your hands out to the sides. So they're gonna drop out to the sides like that. We're gonna float our legs into tabletop, one, and two, like that, our tabletop. Knees are gonna squeeze together really tight and then just gently press the hands down into the floor beneath you. Now, the wider the arms are, the easier this will be. So if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, take your hands down a little bit further towards your hips. And then we're gonna allow the legs squeezing together to fall over to the left, just a little. Start little and as they fall over to the left, the right side of the hip is gonna lift up a little, the right rib cage is gonna lift a little and then we're gonna pull the whole shape back into the center. And then we're gonna do it on the other side. The legs are gonna fall over to the right. We're gonna allow the left outer hip to lift, the left rib cage to lift. And then we're gonna pull the whole shape back into the midline. Keep those knees squeezing together. Breathe in, knees fall to the left. Breathe out, pull it back to the center. Breathe in, legs fall to the right. Breathe out to pull back to center. And we're gonna keep this going from side to side. And you can start to sort of challenge yourself a little bit more here with your range of motion. Obviously, the further those legs fall out to the side, the harder it's gonna to be to pull back into the center. Try not to rely just on your hands, on your arms, so be light through the fingers. And keep the knees above your hips, so try not to let them come in too close towards your body. You should start to feel some work through those abdominals, through the side of the body as well. And if you wanna make this a little more challenging, the next time you lift the legs up to the center, you can actually straighten the legs. Now, you might have tight hamstrings and it might be like a halfway kind of situation, that's cool. Otherwise, straighten the legs all the way up and we're gonna do the same thing from there. Legs fall over to the side, inhaling. Exhale to pull back into the midline and then other way, inhale over to the side. Exhale, pull those legs back up into the middle. We're gonna keep this going a few more. You can also do like a halfway one, if that feels better for you. You can also just bend the knees back into that tabletop position, if that feels better for you. Just warming up through those core muscles. Keep it going. Last one here. And then grab onto your legs and pull those knees into your chest. Just rock a little from side to side. It, and then place those feet down. From here, we're gonna take the hands behind the head. You're gonna interlace your fingers behind the head fully and have the thumbs pointing down the back of your neck. We're gonna curl the head and the chest up nice and high. Allow your head to press gently back into your hands and at the same time the hands press into the head so that the neck can really relax. And then from here, we're gonna float those legs into tabletop. Keep them together to start, but then we're gonna take the left leg, just the left leg. We're gonna kick it away from the body and then we're gonna bring it straight back in. So we breathe out, left leg extends. We breathe in to draw it in. Now the lower the leg goes, the more challenging this will be. So maybe you wanna start up high like that, up on a diagonal, that's cool. Maybe you start to work it down a little lower. Maybe you go all the way down towards the mat. That's cool. Now curl a little higher. I want you to lift both of your shoulders right up off the mat beneath you and keep your right knee directly on top of the hip. It wants to come in close. Don't let it. That's it, we're here for three. We're here for two. One more, we're gonna extend the left leg out. Hold it out there, flex your left foot. The left leg is gonna open out to the left just a little, and then it's gonna come back into the midline. Inhale as it opens, exhale, pull it back in. We open it out, we pull it in. Good, the further that leg goes out to the side, again, the more challenging it's going to be. Can you curl a little higher? Keep the head and the chest really still. Toes stay pointing up towards the ceiling for two. 
One more like that, bring that leg back to the midline. Now you can keep it there, but if it's too much for the hip, you can drop the leg all the way down. Otherwise, keep it hovering. We're gonna take the right leg now. It's gonna fall out to the right, and then it's gonna come back into the midline. Inhale, leg falls out. Exhale, pull it back in. See if you can stay even through both of the hips. So we're not shifting all the weight onto the right side. Stay heavy through the left as that right leg opens. Remember, if that left leg's dropping down, it looks like this. That's cool. Take breaks if you need. We're here for three. We're here for two. Last one here, bring it in. Last exercise, we're gonna take the left elbow, we're gonna twist across to the right knee and we're gonna open back out. Stay in that lift, twist. Open out, remember you can drop that left leg down if you need, that's cool. Otherwise, keep it hovering and open, exhale, twist, inhale, open, keep it going. Up and across, almost there. Lift that right shoulder a little higher, don't just drop it all the way down for another three. And two, last one, and bring it all the way down. Head down, feet down, arms out, and just let the knees rock side to side, left and right. Whew. All right, you ready to do the other side? I'm ready. Hands behind the head. Interlace those fingers fully. Cradle that head into your hands and curl yourself up. So you should be able to just see your elbows in your peripheral vision. The thumbs are drawing down the back of the neck. So we've got this nice cradle of support for our heads. And we float the legs into tabletop. And let's go right leg extends away. Right leg comes in. So just the right. Exhale to reach. In how to fold. The lower that right leg goes down towards the mat, the more challenging it'll be. So if you can curl a little higher, I want you to curl as high as you can through the upper back, up off the mat, that's it, but without flattening the lower back all the way down into the mat. So we still just want that little bit of space between the low back and the mat. Good, see so if you can push your head a little bit back into your hands, it's gonna help just keep those neck muscles, the front of the neck muscles, a little bit soft here. We're here for three. We're here for two. One more, we extend the leg out to a point we can hold and we pause it there. Flex the foot, the right leg's gonna open out to the right and then it's gonna come back into the midline. Curl a little higher, open it out, bring it in. <sighs> Inhale, open, exhale, draw it in. Keep your left knee above your left hip, no closer. <sighs> That's it, out, woo, and in. The further out it goes, the harder it is for two and one. Bring it in. Now, you can stay here or you can drop that right leg down. But if you're keeping it lifted, just hold it at a point you can hold. The left leg is gonna open out to the left and then it's gonna come back in. So left leg opens and it comes back in. So the whole leg opens to the side, but as it does, we stay heavy through the right hip, keep that chest Lift it up, stay square through the shoulders. <sighs> Working hard, abdominals, core muscles on fire for three. And two, last one like that. We stay there, the right elbow is gonna come up and across towards the left knee. We open back out, breathe out. <sighs> breathe into open. <sighs> And open, keep that knee still. Think about the chest coming up and across. So that big rotation. Remember you can drop that right leg down if you need, otherwise keep it hovering. We're almost there for three. And two, last one like that. And come all the way down. Drop your head down, drop your feet, arms wide, knees side to side. Whew. Shake it out. All right, pull your knees into your chest. Pull them in nice and close and just rock yourself a couple of times and then bring yourself all the way up into a seated position. We're gonna extend the legs out in front of our bodies. Have them a little wider than hip width distance. So have your heels as wide as your mat and then reach your arms forward in front of you. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna come into a little roll down. Tuck your tailbone under and roll yourself back as far as you can. So finding a range of motion that feels good for you. Now, it might be a really small range, just a little scoop. You might go all the way down so your low back, 
presses down onto the mat, and then you're just gonna roll straight back up, okay? So working in a range that feels good for you, that's the key, all right? Roll those shoulders back, we take a breath in, we round it down, we breathe out, we roll it up. Inhale to come back, exhale, coming up, that's it. Arms are reaching forward in front of the body. See if you can pull the shoulders back slightly. Good, back of the neck is long. Good, keep it going. Little scoop and round and roll it up. Nice, all right, on the next one, I want you to roll down as far as you can and pause it there. So again, it might be a small range of motion, it might be a little bigger, doesn't really matter. You're gonna take your left arm, lift it up overhead towards your left ear and then bring it forward and then your right arm's gonna lift. And forward, so we breathe out to lift. We breathe in, bring the arm forward. Little tuck of the chin. Pick a spot right in front of you and keep your gaze there, right at eye level. That's the best place for your head to be. Try and keep your legs, your quads relaxed here. Keep your heels down. That's it. We lift, we lower. We lift, we lower. Keep it going. Good, looking straight ahead. Find a little bit more rounding through your spine. That's it, this sort of hollowing sensation through the abdominals. One more each side. Last one, bring your arms forward. Roll yourself up and just fold the body forward. Take a little break, give the head a little shake from side to side. And then round your body all the way back. We're gonna add in a little rotation, a little bit more oblique. So arms are gonna come forward again. We're gonna round the body down again, finding that lowest point where we can hold. We're gonna take the left elbow down by the side and we're gonna twist the body like a bow and arrow sign kind of motion and then bring that arm forward. We're gonna go to the other side. Right elbow draws down beside the body. We twist, breathe in to bring it forward. And forward. See if you can really twist the shoulders. Think about your fingers reaching forward, your elbow pulling back like you're being pulled in opposite directions. That's it, keep those heels grounded. That's it, getting this mobilization, this rotation through our upper backs. And forward, that's it, draw those abdominals in. Same thing, just go a little bit quicker, just a little bit, same control. Maybe sink a little bit further down. We're gonna keep it going for another four. And three, and two, last one like that. Bring it forward, roll yourself all the way up and fold your body forward. Good, lifting all the way up. Last thing here, we're gonna cross the legs over and we're gonna flip onto our hands and knees. So hands are gonna come down. We're gonna swing those legs behind us and straight away we're gonna come into a downward dog position. So spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and come into a downward dog. Now feet are about hip width distance apart here, just like that. Lift your hips high and lift your heels high as well so you're right up onto the toes. From here, we're gonna hinge the body forward in one movement into a plank. When you land, the hand should be right underneath your shoulder so if you need to adjust that, Go for it. And then from here, we're gonna bend into the knees. We're gonna sit the weight back. Knees stay down. We're gonna try and press the hips back and try and press your chest as flat as you can towards your thighs. And then lift your hips up, straighten the knees again, coming back into that downward dog. So that's the movement. We hinge the body forward. We find a plank. We bend the knees, we sit the hips back, try and press the belly to the thighs. We straighten the knees as much as we can. Hold it there. Let's go again. Hinge it forward, bend it back, lift the hips. And keep that going, moving through those positions. And then once you've got that, and you've got the flow of those different movements, you can start to smooth it out a little bit. So it's sort of like one movement flows into the next. That's it. Keep it going. Beautiful. Moving through the spine. We're getting a bit of a stretch through the backs of the legs and of course, strengthening through our core muscles and our abdominal muscles. Keep it going. 
We're gonna be here for three more like that. And two. Last one like that. Drop your knees down and just do a quick child's pose, sitting your hips back. Shift a little side to side. Last exercise here. We're gonna come forward onto our elbows. Elbows are gonna come down, palms flat, elbows right underneath the shoulders. Lift through your chest like you're pushing the mat away from you and step your feet back, finding a plank. Now you can be up on your toes or if you wanna be down onto your knees, go for it. But push through the elbows, lift the chest. Little scoop under of the tailbone, lift the back of the neck up. Hold it there and we're gonna soar the body forward and back. If you're down on your knees, you're gonna hold it there. Good, breathing out forward, <sighs> breathing in to come back. Belly button drawing in, back of the neck is lifted. Think about shining your heart forward and soar that body forward and back. And let's do the same thing, just a little quicker. Forward, back, forward, back. We're almost there. You've got 10 more seconds. <sighs> Keep it going. Keep it going, almost there for another five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees down, open them as wide as the mat, toes together, and sit to your heels. Drop your head down into the mat and hold it there. Take one deep breath in, and out, letting it go. You can walk your hands all the way in. And you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for Good Moves with Well and Good. Don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good and I'll see you soon on the map.